Hi YouTubers, here with another update. With some of my Christmas money. I've just bought that. Double trunked reducer to replace the one that depleted, de uh, whatever you call it, depre depre depleted. I got this off a, a local supplier. It was in his shore tank. And let me have it for twenty, twenty pound. So I'm chuffed with that because it's not just one medusa, it's two, on one rock. So I'm just waiting until it's acclimated to the tank and fully opens. But since I put it in yesterday, I think it was, and just trying to get the floor and position right, it is opening. So I think it does like the position. As you can see, I've had to move the power head. I've had to move the tons there. To alter the floor. But I don't want to affect the rest of the corals. But everything seems happy. As long as I can get that piece happy. The other one was like that bit of it, more white. This has got more purple to it. There is a piece of it that's white coming off, but probably the white part's not probably the good part. Probably the purple bit is the better bit. I'll just have to see when it opens up fully. Hope that it opens up fully as well. But the tank water. Since I've got the reactor, I've just uh, dosed it with uh, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, strontium, and a bit of iodine. So it's a little bit cloudyish, but in a way, you can tell the water quality is a lot better with the reactor. Purple Kenya tree has gone beautiful. I was worried about that, but it's beautiful now. Only SPS, Turbinara, and I'm managing to keep it alive. <laughs> That's doing really well. The coloration has gone a lot better since it's gone in my tank. It's got more of a green colour when I got it with more of a yellow. Sea rod. Pollocks haven't come out in the last few days, but when they do come out, it looks a lot nicer. It looks really nice with the polyps all over it. The brilliant white polyps. The plate that gets, but when it opens up, it gets a lot bigger. As you can see now, the little one there in the middle of the screen, the baby one. That's growing. These mushrooms since the day I got them. Oof. When they're fully open, I'd say it's doubled. My LPS, well, I think it's still the one I've got in tank. Uh, that's really nice when it's fully open. That's doing really well. I've been told it's a purple headed branching hammer. Now Andrew, I can't remember, is it 1924 or something? He's got the similar, very similar looking one and he calls it a frog spawn, so I'm not so sure now. 
some of the heads look like an hammer and some of them don't look like an hammer so I'm a bit confused with that one all I know is it's an LPS <laughs> side my little Zoa rock little green Zoas they're obviously doing okay It's a nice green colour. The green polyps. They're improving. I don't target feed these. I don't target feed anything really in the tank. I just got uh, freeze dried brine shrimp. And they're like micro freeze dried brine shrimp. And they catch them. Every time I put them in the tank, they close up and catch them and eat them. Same as with the mushrooms here. They close up and catch them. The plate, obviously, it's eating something, but I don't ever see it close up. It eats, must eat them brine shrimp. Uh, the yellow polyps, they're the same. They catch them as they're floating past. I don't know if you can see there, that's part of the red brittle star hidden in the back. Back to me, newest coral. I really hope that comes out and fully opens up. I can imagine it's going to be huge. So it's all polyps, they're all about an inch long sticking out. That's probably one of my oldest corals. Next next to the pulsing zania that's I've had in for a long time. It's just a mass of it. Some people I know here can't keep it. Some people can obviously I I'm lucky with the Zania. The fish, the female. I don't know if her and him have uh, been trying to to spawn. She keeps attacking anything that goes near the cave, especially him. Regal tank. Doesn't like him anywhere near. Fox with this rabbit fish. That's all of it with him. <laughs> Here too, sometimes he picks up corals. Not all the time. If he's kept well fed, he's alright. But the thing I do like about him, if I dies, it's not in the tank very long because he's at it. He just eats anything that dies in the tank. Fish, corals, he just eats it, devours it once it's dead or dying. If I saw him picking on something that's alive and doing well, I'm not happy. But at the moment, as you can see, most of the corals are alright, so I'll leave him alone. None of the chromies are coming out. They're hiding. The male's still in the cave. She's guarding a cave. I 
Oh, well, that's all for now. Later.